Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and iOS 18.3 beta one as expected has been released almost a week now from the release of iOS 18.2 to the public. We have the first beta of iOS 18.3 and I think you should not update to the first beta of iOS 18.3 and I will show you guys why in a couple of minutes here. First of all, let's take a look at this update and see what's new. So first of all, we have the size here. It will be pretty big so it's around 7 gigs right here on the iphone 15 pro max and it should be a bit less on older devices but it should be somewhere around here 7 to 6 to 7 gigs on any device of course updating from ios 18.2 to the first beta of ios 18.3 now this is the new build number for ios 18.3 it's 22 d5 034 e now this build number ending with an e indicates to me that there will be not a lot of betas for this update most likely it will be the like at most four betas before apple releases ios 18.3 to the public now when it comes to new features and changes there are really not a lot of them on this update and you can see one of them right here on the app store once you go to the app store you will get a notification right there search the way you talk basically letting you know that you can use natural language to find things on the app store we knew we could do this with ios 18.2 but now you will have this pop-up letting you know that you can actually do that because probably most users don't actually know that they can use natural language on the app store also for iPhone 16 Pro users, when you go to your settings under accessibility and you will have here your camera control, you will notice that now we have a new icon for the dark mode here for the camera control iOS 18.3 as expected will also add support for robot vacuum so that is not here yet but it will be released with iOS 18.3 as that feature has been found on the code of iOS 18.3 and then we go to playground here so if you have playground on your device you will notice a few small changes here first of all you will have the thumbs up and thumbs down buttons right there basically you giving feedback how did it perform and how it did create your image and then you will also have a button right there where you can go ahead and give feedback to apple about playground now the same goes for genmoji as well you will have the same buttons added to genmoji as well where you can give your feedback to apple and besides that there is actually nothing else new and you can see this is a very very small update hopefully there will be some more changes with the second beta but we'll have to wait for and see for that as usually the point three updates are actually quite smaller and the big new features are expected to come with 18.4 another feature that we hoped we will see maybe it will happen on the next betas is the battery intelligence feature which shows you how much time is remaining until the charger iphone that is not here yet hopefully it will be but otherwise that's it regarding this update and now let's talk about why you should not update your device to ios 18.3 beta 1 so as you can see right there there have been not a lot of new features added not a lot of changes to ios 18.3 beta 1 and as you can see right here the release date was December the 16th and don't expect to see a new beta at least until January 6th. So we have one, two, three weeks. For at least three weeks, you won't be getting a second beta of iOS 18.3. That's why I suggest you guys don't update to the first beta because it's not worth it. Not that many features. It's actually not just worth it at all installing a first beta on your iPhone and not having the ability to update to a second beta for at least three weeks it might be even a month before you get the second beta of ios 18.3 so you don't have to deal with all the stuff that comes with installing a beta especially a beta one on your device that's why i believe you should stay out of way of ios 18.3 beta one and don't install it at least until the second beta comes out so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video smash that like button if you did don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i will see you on the next one